Hey guys, how you doing? So somebody asked me, how do you become a web developer in 2025? What do you do? It's actually pretty simple. Two things. Number one, you learn your fundamentals. The fundamentals of web design development are HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. Then I will learn PHP for backend. And then you put up a website and then you get going. So the next question they had is, can you jump right into freelancing on freelance sites and otherwise, if you only know your fundamentals? Short answer is yes. You start off with two to three small projects, learn on the job, learn to get paid. Your first job, maybe it's for free. Maybe your first two jobs, little jobs, little, contra little contracts are for free. Why? Because you gotta look at the first two projects as the last stage of learning. Because doing tutorials is not, it only prepares you for the real game. It's kind of like in combat sports, uh, doing uh, shadow boxing or forms is not really fighting. Uh, doing pad work is not really fighting. You actually have to spar. You have to, have, you have to do the thing, the real thing. So when you start your first projects in development, whether it be web development or otherwise, uh, they have to be easy projects. So your first web development project could be as simple as putting up somebody's WordPress site, modifying their WordPress site, putting up a Wix site, putting up their Squarespace site, configuring their Shopify. Doesn't really matter. The point is, is learn how to get a project, interact with the clients, complete the project, get it done. It's gonna teach you so much, so much. The final question, of course, is AI. Should you use AI? 100%, you should use AI as you learn because it will help you get to answers more quickly. Write the code. You got to write the code. Writing code, by the way, is going to train your brain like lifting weights trains your brain. So you got to write the code, but you can use AI and you should use AI to help you out. Now, if you're using my interactive training program, which I developed for uh, over many years, working with many, many, many schools, it's going to supercharge the training of the fundamentals. You learn the fundamentals so quick, you have no idea what happened. Actually, the whole point of learning fundamentals quickly is you'll know exactly what's happening so quick. People are always surprised at how quickly they learn with my interactive platform. I developed my own platform for education. Again, I didn't come up with the whole thing out of my head. I had a team and I worked with lots of schools who gave me feedback. So uh, it's, it's been tested in the real world. So you do the fundamental courses uh, with my stuff. You do it at the HTML5, CSS3, and the JavaScript, then at that point, I'd say start jumping into GPT, uh, ChatGPT or whatever AI you want to use. And then you start interacting with it, doing projects, writing code, building things. This could all be done in, you know, maybe 250 hours of work. To, so you can decide if you're going to do an hour a day or two hours a day, whatever you want. I have a recommendation. When you're learning anything new, you don't want to go too hard. It's like late weightlifting. If you train every day weightlifting, you're just going to burn yourself. You have to give your body time to rest in between training sessions. Same thing with learning. I recommend uh, four days a week, five max, uh, 20 minutes minimum, maximum four hours a day of learning. This is gonna maximize the learning process. So let's say you do Monday, Tuesday, take Wednesday off, do Thursday, Friday, take Saturday, Sunday off, then do Monday, that kind of thing. You do that, and on days, for example, where you don't feel like learning or coding, just do 20 minutes. Just do 20 minutes. The great thing about my Studio Web program is that it encourages learning because it remembers where you were. And the video lessons are very short. And after every lesson, you write a little code and the system evaluates your code, tells you, okay, now you're right, wrong, you can get hints. Or it's theoretical as well. Trust me, you'll learn quickly. This is the process basically in a nutshell. You wanna learn. So I have my self-paced courses. You go, you know, it's very inexpensive. Learn on your own, fantastic. Or if you want the full program with the training and the career training and how to start freelance business, I got my mentoring program, which you can check out below as well. Uh, that's it. I hope that helps. So learning web design and web development in 2025, that's the process. Those are the few steps. It's worth it. Trust me. Don't let the current, uh, I'm recording this in April, April 7th, 2025. Don't let the current volatility uh, throw you off. Volatility like this in the market, I've seen it several times in my career. I've been writing code since the 90s, and uh, I've seen this before. It's a good thing, because once we get through this, maybe six months, 
maybe a little longer, it's hard to say. But once we get through this, it's going to be a huge opportunity. And the opportunity going forward is going to be web stack, but modified web stack. Modified web stack. I mean, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for freelancers, SaaS developers, leveraging AI tools, leveraging no-code and low-code platforms, Wix, WordPress. So why do you want to leverage these things, this new layer of abstraction that speeds up the development process in ways uh, that are fantastic, which means we're just going to write more software, better software in quick time. And if you leverage this with good workflows, you're going to make a lot of money. That's it. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me, what, let me know what you think. Links below. Um, I'll leave you with one last comment. There's no good language or bad language out there. There's no good framework or bad framework. It all depends on the job. So there's plenty of people making lots of money with Java and C Sharp. Um, everything except Ruby. Okay, even Ruby guys are making a lot of money. So And it uh, doesn't really matter. Once you learn how to code, you learn how to code. Once you learn how to drive a power, a super powerful car, for example, you know how to drive a super powerful car. Once you understand grappling, you're a grappler. You know? Anyway, I hope that helps. Cheers.